You know what, guys? I wasn't sure if I was going to make this video, but you know what? Screw it. All right, so basically, there is a big stink going on with the movie that's coming out next month. The movie in question is the Blumhouse-produced remake of Black Christmas. Yes, ladies and gents, you've heard that right. There is a second remake of Black Christmas coming out now, the previous of which came out a decade ago from, um, yeah, those guys. <laughs> oh, shit. But nonetheless, um, I have seen that first remake. It wasn't very good. I don't remember dick about it, but just take my word, it was quite an inferior film to the Bob Clark directed original. You know, the film that was gonna get a sequel set around Halloween, but then a certain up and coming filmmaker who made a dark comedy with the guy who went on to make a movie about fucking dicks popping out of people's chests. The hell with them. Ended up stealing that idea after a fateful conversation. It'll be he was captured, after all, he was put in an institution, and the movie will begin the night he escapes uh, back in town, and they don't know it yet, and I'm going to call it Halloween. He deserves the full expansive credit he's gotten for doing that movie. I mean, like I say, a few words about an idea are hardly a screenplay in a finished movie. Or so the legend goes. But yeah, um... The original Black Christmas is a Stone Cold classic, hands down one of the most unsettling and disturbing slasher films of its time, still powerful even in the year of our Lord 2019. <laughs> but for some ridiculous reason, they had to make a second remake. I've seen the trailers. It didn't look particularly great, but Imogen Poots is in it, and I always liked her. She would have made a great Mary Jane Watson in the Amazing Spider-Man films, even though that'll never happen. Thanks, Disney. Thanks, Marvel. <laughs> but as of this recording, the film was announced to be receiving a PG-13 for its theatrical release. And I will say this, I have nothing against PG-13 rated horror films. Or PG-13 rated action films for that matter either. However, the films must be made with a PG-13 in mind, or made to be possibly a PG-13, or made with the intention to be possibly edited down to a PG-13 at a later date. The Black Christmas remake that's coming out next month was shot for an R rating. And here's the thing, you never, ever make a movie set for one rating and cut it down for another, because that shit never, ever has a good outcome. History has proven that PG-13 rated horror movies that were shot for an R rating did not do too well at the box office. Same with PG-13 remakes of action movies from the 80s, like the Robocop remake, for example, a film that I personally consider to be much superior to the god-awful Robocop 3 that came out of the early 90s. Piece of shit, even though I fucking own it. Go figure. I am now authorized to be loyal as a puppy. Uh, but yeah, they took an R rated film and cut it down to a PG 13 to appeal for a wider audience. And that shit never ever works. They think it will work on a financial reason as well as a reason to reach out to a wider audience. But if you ask me, it's a load of bullshit. Like I said, I have nothing against PG-13 rated horror films. The Ring, uh, the remake of the Japanese film, both of which I own, is a good example of a PG-13 rated horror film because it was shot for a PG-13, or possibly to be cut into a PG-13. Not shot as an R rated or NC-17 rated film, or an unrated film, and then at the last minute, they decide to go, hey, let's make this a PG-13 to appeal to the lowest common denominator and make the most money possible. And if you ask me, that is very, very disingenuous for artistic integrity. It's a load of bullshit. It's never, ever, ever worked in history. And films that were cut down to a PG-13 and post-production have always turned out to be much more inferior than the original R-rated cuts. One movie I must mention that was a victim of this was the not particularly good, kind of terrible uh, horror from The Bye Bye Man. But 
the unrated cut of the film on the Blu-ray release is a much, much better film. Still not a very good movie, mind you, but a tolerable, passable horror film. But the PG-13 rated cut is a god-awful piece of shit that was bleeding when it came out in theaters. It was a bleeder, as the guys who made Larry Face Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 once said when their films got cut down to an R rating. Though I must admit that film was a fucking piece of crap, and if you want to watch a movie called Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, I would advise you to watch Night Killer instead. Much funnier movie. I got molested in a little boy's room. I don't give a shit that we just said Chainsaw Massacre 3. That movie fucking blows. I will also mention that I have nothing against the Happy Death Day films because those films, despite the PG-13 rating, made it work by being more comedy rather than horror, even if they got a little too sci-fi oriented at times. Nonetheless, the point of this little rant is not to scold people for making decisions, but rather to explain why these decisions are awful and stupid and not very well thought out. Kids and teenagers growing up didn't care that the slasher films or the super violent action films were R-rated because that's what appealed to them, the forbidden fruit concept. Robocop and Terminator were awesome to me as a kid because they were fucking kick-ass. They didn't hold back on things. They went full force with everything, even if the violence disturbed me a little. Same with the Predator movies, same with the Alien movies, same with David Cronenberg's The Fly and the sequel that came out a few years after that. That's why I like those movies. And by neutering them to appeal to a wider audience completely disregards the whole reason why those films became popular in the first place. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Please stick with keep making R-rated movies R-rated movies rather than chopping them up to be PG-13 for a theatrical release. Just keep the films the way they were shot. If you aim for a PG-13 when you planted the movie out in the first place, awesome. But don't turn around at the last minute or halfway till filmmaking and go, hey, we need to have a wider audience, so let's make this a PG-13, even though we already shot a bunch of gore scenes and whatnot. It's stupid. It is reckless. And it completely goes against why those kinds of films build a cult audience and become perennial classics over the years. These neuter down films edited in post always end up being forgotten through the sands of time. So stop it. Stop with this fucking bullshit. Knock this shit off. And keep the films the way they were. We are not ranting because of PG-13 rated movies. We are ranting because you're taking movies meant for older audiences and disfiguring said movies for extremely selfish and foolhardy reasons. Knock that fucking shit off. Cut that fucking crap off. For the love of God, face reality and understand why this shit should not fly anymore. It's fucking stupid. Stop fucking ruining your fucking movies for reasons that you think will work, but ultimately are fucking lame. So fucking lame that your movie becomes worthless as time goes along. Disregard the fucking edits you've made over the last month and revert the film back to its previous state. Then do all the other post-production shit and then release it with the R rating. This fucking shit should not fucking happen anymore. It is fucking stupid. Knock it fucking off. For the love of God. I will probably still see the movie even if it comes out in its bullshit neuter form. But I will make it clear once it's out through some form of social media for those of you who know. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But yeah, Hollywood. Independent filmmakers. Cut this fucking shit off. Do not cut your movies that you set out to make with an R rating or higher or no ratings whatsoever and then turn around and neuter them. Leave your fucking movies alone. 
I have nothing against PG-13 rated movies. I just have issues with movies that were shot for one rating and then edited to something else that wasn't meant to be. It's been going on for far too long and I thought it was done. But no, this shit keeps happening. It still happens and I don't fucking know why and neither does anybody else. I can stay here all day recording an even longer video about how movies that are ultra-violent but still manage to retain a PG-13, such as Elite Battle Angel, still manage to feel like that the creative integrity is preserved because they are done in ways that feel like it was done with a soul and a purpose, not for fucking money that will never be earned anyway in some form or another. Will I be doing any more of these ranty kind of videos anytime soon? I don't fucking know. Probably not, because I got other shit I gotta do. I got videos I wanna do. I got stories I gotta fucking write. I got other people's videos to watch. Fucking Death Stranding to play, music to listen to, movies to watch, hopefully movie reviews to make when I get better equipment. Hey, baby. You ever hear a butcher baker nightmare maker? <laughs> I don't fucking know, and neither should you give a fuck. Even though I enjoy people watching my shit, if you do manage to watch it and subscribe to my channel, it's nice. Thank you. But also, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, man. Lady, whatever, person of undetermined gender, welcome to my channel if you're watching this and this is your introduction. This channel's a fucking mess. But in due time, it'll become more streamlined. Whoopie do. And I will have more content out. Probably not a rant. Maybe I will. Maybe more stupid YouTube poop style videos. Maybe more movie reviews that are much better than that aborted piece of crap that I've got hidden right now. But there is going to be more content coming. Just keep a lookout. Don't hold your breath. But if shit does get uploaded. Enjoy the videos and fuck off. Next time. Listen, you pervert, why don't you go over to Lamb of Kai? They could use a little of this. Piggy cut. You want my fat cock too? Oh, why don't you go find a wall socket and stick your tongue in it? That'll give you a charge. I'll stick my tongue up your pretty pussy. You fucking creep!